Hello, it's Kelly Driver here again. Welcome back to another video with me today. Uh, I am going to do a square canvas today, doing an acrylic pour, a Dutch pour. And it's a 50 by 50 canvas. And the background is going to be titanium white and blues. And I've got lots of different blues in there and a bit of gray, a splash of gray in there as well. So uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be really beautiful and I'm very excited. I haven't done a blue painting in a while and I got inspired when I saw one of my older artworks that's titled Blues and uh, that's available for prints now. And I was, um, I got a print for a client and uh, saw how beautiful it was and decided I needed to do another one and it's been too long. So um, let's get into it. Okay, let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to put, my base is going to be white and king's blue. Uh, I already feel like I'm going to need my stool, so I'll get that in position. Um, I think I'll put the uh, blue, the blue on first, and uh, I'm gonna put the white on after that. We'll blow that cap. Okay, so I'll um, torch this paint to um, get out any air bubbles. Okay, 
Okay, so the next stage is I've got quite an assortment of, uh, of um, paints. The first one that I'm going to put on is uh, Payne's Grey, which is a very dark colour. Then I'm going to put on a, this one's called greyish blue. Whenever I use this greyish blue colour, it always gives it a bit of a Hamptons feel. Uh, I'm using Windsor blue for the first time. I've never used this colour before. So I'm excited to give this colour a go. Now we've got a turquoise blue. Naples yellow. I find this Naples yellow goes very nicely with um, when I use blue tones. So hopefully that will be the case today. And now I'm going to use a turquoise green as well. We'll use a tiny bit of this uh, blue colour. This is just made up from um, leftover paint. It doesn't really have a name. Just put a tiny bit of that in. This is um, graphite, which I love. It's a metallic colour, metallic paint. We've got a lot of paint here. Pearl green. A tiny bit of copper. Just a splash. And I was trying not to use gold today, but I can't help it. Can't help it. I just have to. I can't stop <laughs> with gold. Okay, they're all my colours. So we've got heaps. There's a lot of paint on here. So I'll just putting on this King's Blue to help the paint uh, move when I blow it out. And I'll do the same with the white. I've mixed Floetrol into my paint today. Just a dash in each of the colour, so uh, I don't know how the paint is going to respond to that, but we'll, it's an experiment. Ready to blow the colours over one another.
Now I already have cells popping up as you can see, so that's um, pretty amazing. Phenomenal, absolutely mind boggling. I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> it's just uh, incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh, <laughs> look at this, such a small amount of copper, and it's very dominant in. Um, very dominant. I'm quite speechless right now. I am just uh, blown away by this artwork and uh, I just realised I forgot to paint the sides here. <laughs> I have to paint them afterwards because I forgot. I'm so excited to get pouring and I've uh, forgotten to paint my sides. decided I'm going to make a change on the painting. I don't really like this bit just here, so I'm going to take it off. I'm not sure what to do with that bit. I still don't like it. Maybe I'll just uh, scrape that bit off.
bit more pure for me. I'm happier with that there. Yeah. That's a bit better for me there. I think this area up here has got a lot of pearl in it, so that's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I actually think I'm going to do uh, the same thing down here. This one's a little bit um, crazy for me here, so I'm going to scrape this bit off as well. It's just a bit, uh, I don't do too many cells in my work. And uh, that one's a bit much. So we'll um, put some blue on there. And then I'm gonna blow this bit here a little bit more. Probably wondering what I'm doing here. I decided I wanted to open up this bottom corner here and put more white in there.
still wasn't happy with how this was working down here because the blue was sort of muddying the white. So I took off a bit more, then I made it a bit worse. So then I had to have another go before finally getting it correct, as you'll see in just a moment. Okay, now I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are for a close-up, zooming in. So this is the top left-hand corner. Lots of beautiful cells and the copper shining through there. Zooming over to the right. So that's very pretty in that section. Look at those cells, wow. Now down uh, the left hand side, we're flowing down here and that's the bottom left hand corner with the beautiful blues shining through there and softened the copper up through the middle and the cloud plume in the middle there, back up to the, over to the right where there's lots of Payne's grey cells coming through and this is the bottom right hand corner. So there's the whole, it's very hard to get the whole thing in actually. Uh, so thank you very much for watching today. My name's Kelly Driver and uh, it would be great if you would subscribe or follow along to my channel and uh, show your support. And I'll see you next time for another video. Okay, bye.